Max under a tenner if you search hard enough, innit? <laughs> Not cheap though, I did go to H&M for the thong. <laughs> Before I go any further, I'll explain there are three reasons as to why I look like this. First one is that in my head, I like to think I look a little bit like Carrie Ann Moss in The Matrix. <laughs> Thank you for laughing. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not totally delusional, I am fully aware that most of the time I look more like Keanu Reeves in drag. <laughs> not so much Trinity, more Tranity. <laughs> Technically, I suppose. The second reason as to why I dress like this is because, like many of you out there, I'm a massive pervert. I want I like going out to fetish clubs. My personal favourite is one that's uh, there's flies for it around all over the place. Club Lash, brilliant. If you get a chance, go. It's fucking nice. I was there a couple of weeks ago. This guy came up to me and he said, <laughs> so I unzipped his mask <laughs> and he said, I want you to torture me all night. And I thought about this Manchester and I thought, yeah, I can go with that. So I spent the rest of the evening blowing his light right every time he like, tried to light a cigarette. <laughs> so moving his pint just out of reach. I can be really fucking evil when I try. Although to be fair, he did seem more pissed off than turned on. Which got me thinking, you know if you get stung by a jellyfish, you're supposed to piss on it. The sting, I mean, not the jellyfish. <laughs> Although to be fair, it would fucking teach them, you know, come here. More. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I did ask someone what you're supposed to do if you get stung by a jellyfish, and they said, Ah, oh, that's easy. You piss on your foot. I thought, Yeah, if you've been stung on your foot. Otherwise, you're just got a foot covered in piss. <laughs> that's no use to anyone. But it did get me thinking, right? Drinking people are into their water sports, occasionally fuck off down to the beach, pretend they've been stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> just to get strangers to piss on them. <laughs> Are you sure you've been stung by a jellyfish? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Are you sure it stung you in your mouth and face? <laughs> You're a nice sick crowd, you're gonna love this. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll uh, explain so the third reason as to why I look like this, and this one's a little bit more subtle, something you wouldn't have noticed when I first came on stage, but secretly, I'm a bit of a goth. Say <laughs> so I'm a bit of a goth, I'm such a goth. When I was born, the doctor slapped my ass. I didn't cry. <laughs> Because I was already dead. <laughs> so I just sneered. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like taking the piss out of girls sometimes in my set. Um, sometimes that gets me into trouble. Like a couple of months ago, I was taking the piss out of some girls, and this girl came up to me afterwards and she went, Oh, you shouldn't take the piss out of girls because it's not fair, and I'm a vampire! <laughs> <laughs> Slightly worse dress disappointment to your parents, but at this point when I'm less said, no, no, they don't think of the consequences. Yeah, what are the consequences of taking the piss out of a goth? What, that they'll slash their wrists in your direction? <laughs> you know, I wear a lot of leather and PVC, it's hardly a threat. <laughs> but she said, no, 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 I might curse you. <laughs> Again, fuck off. <laughs> Is that? I mean, as if her puny curse could have any effect on a witch as powerful as me. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's absolutely no surprise that because of things like this, I can't manage to hold down a day job. I got fired from 14 last year, right? And at that point, you start to realise perhaps it's not there. Perhaps it's you that's a bit of a cunt, you know. <laughs> and I'm trying to the best reason I was given for being fired. And this is no word of a lie. I was once fired for being aggressively lesbian. <laughs> Yeah, I don't understand what the fuck it means either. You know, because as far as I can tell, both words mean exactly the same thing. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine that you a nice lady down here with a nice course? What's, uh, what's your name? Jenny. Jenny. Can you imagine me being a rest of these lesbian Jenny? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you start to look a little bit more scared and a little bit more excited. <laughs> like you think I might come down there, grab you by the ears and fly you like a stunt kite. <laughs> Give me a little tea. Um, no, don't worry, I'm not going to force you to have the best oral sex of your life, but just remember I can tie a cherry stone into a not using just my tongue.
Yeah, me too. I did want to complete a jigsaw puzzle inside a sock. Um, <laughs> Too. <laughs> yeah, no, no, don't worry, don't worry about that. No, 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 the thing is, I've, uh, I've been thinking a lot um, about date rape. Don't worry. Because um, <laughs> for guys, it seems very easy to just go and drop something in someone's drink and they pass out. And, you know, one of my friends, I know, one of my gay male friends, um, he, was, he was trying to figure out that because he actually liked being the one who gets, you know, receives. And uh, so I suggested that if he was to do it, he would probably meet, you know, Rahipnol and Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> Took a while. <laughs> but I think it'd be pointless if I ever tried to do anything like that, because what abuse have I got for an unconscious girl? I decided I'd probably need to find, I don't know, an epileptic chick and a strobe light. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anyway, uh, before I go, oh, it's getting really quite hot here. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of uh, fashion advice before I do go, because you all look very well turned out tonight, and that's great. But you know, sometimes, and you can pass this on, there are some girls who don't particularly take care when they're going out. If they're wearing an outfit where you can see the whole thing, damn sure you can get away with it. You know, there's nothing more off-point when you go out for a drink and you see a girl with a little tiny short skirt. There's this little nest of spiders staring back at you. <laughs> you know, you don't want to look, but it's like a car crash. <laughs> Lots of twisted metal and congealed blood. <laughs> I grossed out the perverts, go me. <laughs> When they go and drop their change, it's like two kebabs for the price of one. You know. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway. Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna head off to the bar now and spike my own drink and see if I get lucky. <laughs> Probably better not do that. I did that at a party the other week in Edinburgh at Russell Brand's house. Somebody nicked my drink. Um, <laughs> I'm Becky Black. You've got a great night ahead of you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>